जय श्री कृष्ण एवरी वन इन दिस सेशन आई विल टीच यू चैप्टर नंबर वन क्वेरी एंड एसक्वेल फंक्शन दिस इज ए टॉपिक नेम क्लास ट्वेल्थ आईपी फ्रॉम एनसीआरटी टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेरी क्वेरी मीन्स कमांड SQL function. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Here we will see many functions. Through these functions, we can create the table and database. In one database, some basic information I am giving you. In one database, we can create many tables. Means we can store it many tables in the one database. Database means what? It is just like a organization. ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जस्ट लाइक नवोदय विद्यालय एन वी एस एन वी एस नवोदय विद्यालय समिति दिस इज दन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई थिंक नाइंटी या समथिंग मोर देन नाइंटी ब्रांचेस आते हैं बिकॉज एवरी स्टेट एवरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन नवोदय स्कूल इज दियर एक्सेप्ट तमिलनाडु स्टेट ओके सो दिस इज दन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दिस इज द ब्रांचेस सो वी कैन टेल दैट हियर इन दिस इज द Table. These are the tables. So this is the database name. Introduction part. In the introduction, how to create database using MySQL. MySQL is a software, and this software you install it, and then afterwards we can create the database. Many softwares are there. in to creating and storing the database so in your syllabus mysql is given so that's why you have to install mysql so how to how to populate manipulate and retrieve data from a database using sql queries queries is a command through the sql queries we can edit the table and fetching the table and populate it means we can enter the data now more sql command which are required to perform various queries in database whenever queries word is given that means they are talking about of the command so various commands in the database yes see database whenever we are talking about in the database two types we will see first single row another one multiple row multiple row single row is called scalar scan and then multiple row okay so here is also has given single row function and multiple row function arranging the records in ascending and descending row means sorting the data sorting the data okay so first we have to create a database called car show room you have to create the one database and name should be car show room even you can grouping the records also based on some criteria yes grouping the records if similar attribute has given here and the most common things you remember that one is attribute another one tuple tuple is called row an attribute is called column so first we have to create one database and in this database four relation four relation what are the relation inventory customer cell and employee relation means what relation means table relation means table just like attribute table for relation then column for attribute and row for tuple okay so this is the name name in 
S square. So whenever talking about relation, that means we are talking about table. Attribute for column and double for row. And more two things you remember: degree and cardinality. Cardinality. Degree. Whenever you count the columns, total number of columns. This is called degree. Cardinality. Total number of rows. Okay. So here. Four tables you create inventory, customer, cell, and employee. So in the inventory, store names, price, model, year of manufacturing, and fuel type of uh, for each car in inventory of the showroom. So this has given the attributes name. These attributes you have to uh, take it in the inventory table, customer table, store's customer ID, name, address, phone number, email for each customer, cell. Stores the invoice number, car ID, customer ID, cell date, mode of payment, sales, person of employee ID, and selling price of the car sold. So this is the attributes we will take in the uh, cell table, employee table. Stores employee ID, name, date of birth, date of joining, designation, and salary of each employee in the show. Now. This has given, okay. In the inventory table, you have to take this one. Then sales table, we have to take this one. Customer, you have to take these attributes. And in the employee, employee has given these attributes. So now we will create the one table. Uh, not one table, four tables, one database. And what is the database name? Car showroom. I think car showroom only. Yes. Already has given in the down. Car, showroom, database name. Now, schema diagram of database. So this is the schema means like these are the attributes and look at here. Car ID, car ID is common. Car ID is here primary key, and then car ID is here foreign key in the sales department. Whenever common attribute. You will get it. So then, one place it is a primary key, another place it is a foreign key. Now, customer ID, okay, sell sell debt, payment mode, employee ID, sell price. Like this has given customer ID, customer ID here in the customer table. So this one is also a foreign key. Now, employee ID, employee ID you will get. So this one is also a foreign key. So except these three, car ID, cust ID, and employee ID, except these three. We can take any one as a primary key, just like and this one. It is fixed employee ID as a primary key, customer ID from the customer. This is the primary key. Now we have to create the table. So this is the display of the data. When you create the table afterwards, you can write like this. So first, create the database. The here in the MySQL, first you have to install the MySQL and then you write the password. Done. Now, first you have to see so data basis. Check it. Car showroom is available here in the database? No. So now, first we have to create the car showroom. So then, which command you will write? Create database. Create database car showroom in the caps lock car show. Room, shell column, query OK means created. Now we will check it. Show databases, shell column. Check it. Car show key. Now this one we will use it. Use car show room shell column. Okay. Now. 
variable you will create the table or fetching the data from the tables so then first you have to write use the database means in this database we will work it. so that is why now we have to create the which table first has given inventory table so in the inventory table we create the table and in the inventory any foreign key is there no in inventory no foreign key this one has a primary key car id so create you can write capital also small also no problem create table inventory then bracket open and close and in this bracket we will write all the attribute name just like car car id car id car id is which type of attribute this is d001 has given check it in your book also d001 so d001 means what happened it is for you can see all the car ids all ids has four value only so that is why we will take cap data type cap which one Four. Instead of the bracket, write down four. Car ID, character four, and then this one will take as a primary key. So, primary M A R Y A R Y primary key. Comma. Put it comma. This is one attribute complete. Now. No, it's wrong because I have bracket I have given. Then it will give into the error only. So again, I will write create table inventory. Then bracket open. Now car ID. car id character 4 primary key comma this is one attribute next attribute next attribute what is given car name so car name car name is also four characters only so here also we will write cap four cap four this is not a any key so car name attribute completed then afterwards price so price price is integer otherwise float float value is taken so then float price flop next model model has vary the data one plus lxi we have three letters then sigma 1.2 delta so this is the vary all the data so we'll write model now here we will use the varchar whenever vary the data that time we will use it where suppose 10 maximum maximum, maximum it will accept 10 if you will suppose just a like lxi only 3 lxi 3 characters so three places only will take it and others one do not uh, take it as a space it will not pad with this space so model is also completed now model afterwards your manufacturer your manufacture 
ear manufacture you can take this one and teacher also care also because 2017 16 16 not has taken 17 18 19 hmm. 17 18 19 means only four digits so you can take care also otherwise integer also CAD 4 next fuel type fuel type fuel type CNG has taken petrol has taken this is also very data so we will write where where can take it 10. Done. Now, whenever created the table here, you have opened the bracket. So, that one you should close the bracket. Now, put it in the semicolon. Semicolon is the necessary MySQL queries. Press enter key. What is taken? Query OK. Zero rows affected. Means one table has created in the car showroom. How we will see? We will check it. DSC describe inventory describe the table semicolon check it okay like this we will create more three call um, relation customer sell and employee like this you have to create it now how you will insert the data that one i am going to show you insert the data when we will insert the data it has two types one is single record also whenever you will insert the data for inserting the data into table that has two types one single record also you can take it another multiple record also at a time you can take it okay so first we will see the single record then afterwards multiple records clear i am showing in the one table another table sales customer and employee id you will create it so for one table we are inserting the data when in inventory table so first insert into insert into inventory into inventory values directly if this one this sequence if you will not follow that time you will take attributes name also but whenever you will follow the sequence then no needed to write the attribute name so just like i i will follow this one only car id car name price like this only sequence i will follow so values directly then bracket open now check it car id what is that character so in the quotation quotations we will write the value so what is the car id car id first has given d001 so d001 done put it the comma now car name car name is given car1 this is also character so again data type is character so then it will come to the quotation only car1 done again comma separation of the value we will take comma now price price is slot and what is the price is given 58261.3.0 done this is the plot value so we will not write plot or integer no need to write in the quotation comma now model what is the model is given lxi and model what we have taken where care and where Whenever data type is given, so that time you will use quotation, single quotation or double quotation, both you can use it. L, X, I. Done. Put it the comma. Next. 
year of manufacture year of manufacture i have written in the character if you will take in the integer then no need to write in the quotation i have taken in the character so that's why i will write in the quotation 2072017 com next fuel type fuel type is petrol so petrol this is also fuel type type has given value so in the quotation petrol done now close the bracket semicolon enter key see query okay means one row inserted how we will check it right select star from inventory table name select star from inventory select star means select all now check it only one data this one d001 car 1 price alexi year and then exactly same as scan clear children now we will see how to insert multiple records so whenever we will insert multiple records so that time you write insert into inventory inventory then next line go you write all the attributes names what you order not necessarily in the same order car id car name not like that also if you will write car id then price more whatever it's your choice and according to that whatever attribute now you will insert it according to that value also you can insert so i am taking the same one car id com car name then price model year manufacture then fuel type fuel type all the attributes completed now what we'll do then afterwards we'll write values when use bracket open in this values one row for one parenthesis and inside of the parenthesis you write one row so just like d001 i have written now what will write in the next row d002 next record d002 comma car1 car1 Comma. Then price. Price is float value. So six seven three one one two point zero comma B X I B X I comma Two thousand eighteen, comma, petrol. This also will come to the quotation. Done. Now. After bracket, what you will do? Put it as the comma. Means one record complete. Now next record. No need to write once again in the values. Directly we will put it values. Second record. 
So this is the second record completed D002. Third record, what is given? B001. So now I'm writing third record B001, comma. Then car two, comma. Then price five six. Seven zero three one point zero comma sigma one point two sigma one point two comma two thousand nineteen year of manufacture two zero one nine. Comma petrol P E T R O L second record done. If you want to continue, you can continue it. Comma then B zero zero one afterwards what is given B zero zero two. One more record I'm writing. Within the quotation B zero zero two comma then car two car two comma six four seven eight five eight point Zero, comma. Then delta one point two. D E L T A delta one point two. Comma. Two thousand eighteen. Comma. Petrol. Petrol. Then. I have taken in this multiple records three records I have taken. So put it in this semicolon. In the last you have to put semicolon. Present the word is given. Query OK. Means all the conditions are true. Now we will check it. Select start from. Inventory. Semicolon. See, four records has displayed. B one, B zero zero one, B zero zero two, D zero zero one, B zero zero two. You have written like this only. Okay. So like this, you can insert the data into table. So here, four tables is given. Just only remember that this one you can take as a. Uh, you will. Uh, Uh, we have written here primary key. When we are creating the table, written a create table element for car ID, car four primary key. So primary key you will take and we have a foreign key will come just like suppose this one here E and that so space uh, data type then space foreign key you mention it. So this one that attribute will take as a foreign key. Now select the start from inventory. So that it will display the table. Select star from inventory. Star for all. All rows will display. And semicolon is necessary. If you will not give, then select a star from customer. So these are the data from customer table. Then. Select start from cell. These are the data in the cell table. Then select start from employee. This is the data from employee table. Now function in SQL. I already told that function in SQL. A function is used to perform some particular task, some specific task. It will do it. Which one? Function. 
and it returns zero or more values as a result zero or more values if you have inserted the data then it will display if you have not inserted it then it will zero output so functions are useful while writing sql queries functions can be applied to work on single or multiple records of a table i already told you single row functions and multiple row functions single row function is known as scalar function and what is the value it will be applied on a single value and return also a single value only taking single value means input input single value output also generate as a single value only but multiple row taking single value but uh, uh, taking multiple values taking multiple values which one multiple rows but output will come as a single value only remember that so this is the difference only so single row function has three categories uh, three categories first numeric math functions will be used then second is string and then date and time math functions accept numeric values as input output also generate as a numeric value only string functions string means what date um, alphabetical so it accept as a character value as a input and return either a character or numeric value depends on our query date and time accept date and time values as input okay and return numeric or string whenever days name if you will put it so then days name monday wednesday tuesday like this. so this one will come as a string numeric suppose if you want day Day. So, so then it will come. Suppose uh, today's date is nineteenth, nineteenth June, two thousand twenty-four. If you will write a day, so then nineteenth will come. If you will write month, so then six will come. Year two thousand twenty-four. So this one numeric data. If you will write month name, so it will display to the June. This is day name. Day name. Today's day is Wednesday. So, so Wednesday, and then year, year will not present. Okay, so this one generate as output string data, and this one generate as output numeric data. So it will accept both numeric and string. Uh, return it or date and time values also. We will see single row functions. So what are the single row functions? Which functions we can use? Power function, round function, mode function. Power function you know that. First is base value, then afterwards power value. We are writing. Okay. So base suppose two, comma three variable will write it, and then power functions will use the two. That means what? Two power three. Two power three means a output will generate. Round function. Round function means what? Rounding. Rounding the figure. Approximate value. Suppose as a price has taken two five a two four three six point. Six seven, and, and I, I want, want to figure, figure out as a zero. zero. So, so when you figure out zero, means till this, this much only. This one. one. So, so this one, one what is the value? Is mean point six after this one point six. So, so this, this is more than five. five. This, this one giving to the plus one. one. Whenever equal, equal to five or more than five, greater than or equal to five will come. Then it will carry to the plus one marks below. Less than equal to four, zero to four, no marks will be there. No, it will not carry any number. So here, what is the approximate value will come? Two, four, three, seven. This variable will write comma zero. Round of zero. If we write round of one, so then we will see with the next value. That means after decimal we need single digit. This means one means two variable will be there. So then. After decimal, we need two digits. Okay, this is the round up. Mode. Mode means it will accept as a result remainder only. Output will generate as a remainder. U case. U case for upper. Convert the letter to the upper case, lower case, mid value, length, left, right. From the left, it will display. From the right, it will display. A string, A string, removing the Removing the space from the left side, removing the space from the right side, and this is the both side. 
left side also and right side also from both side it will removing the space only space starting space remember that non element is suppose just like 3 has written categories has written three categories you have taken is the one word and this word you know that here the space this space cannot be removed if space is given in the starting or ending so this space remove by the trimming function now date function date function what is given now now we will display both time plus date date only date month only month month name will display year day and the day year will display day means number will display just like today is 19 so 19 will display day name today is wednesday so wednesday will come year what is the which year 2024 month name month name means june month means six date fully will come date 19 june 2024 will see through the command so numeric functions this one i already explained then also look at here how you will write power select power 2 comma 3 so what the output will generate this one so calculate x to the power means this one is base this is base and this is the power value now round off this one this is the decimal place value whatever place you will give just like one is written means till this much i want the data after decimal single digit so next number you check it this is this value is more than or equal to 5 or not just like here 6 has given it is more than 5 so this one will come to the 6 okay just like one place is 2 has given so means 2 digit this one 4 next number is 4 so next number when you go 4 next digit so not next number next digit is 4 so then it will not carry any value so what is the output will generate 2912.56 okay just like here has not mentioned any value any decimal places value and to see round of number and to d Means number two decimal number decimal places. If d equal to zero, means decimal equal to zero. Then it rounds of the number to the nearest integer number. Nearest integer. Look at here. Just like here is not taken any decimal places. Not taken means zero only. Zero two eight three point two comma zero or without zero, it will take only zero. So this one. we will see this one only after what is given 2 it is less than 5 it will not carry so what the output will come 283 if number is there 283.5 then it will carry one so 284 will come okay 284 Five afterwards, any number will come till nine. Five to nine, output will generate same. Just like here, zero to four, any digit will come. Your output will generate only two eighty three. Mode, select mode. It will returns remainder. Means it will find out the remainder value only. Now here two values require. Okay, twenty one divided by two. Whenever you will do it, two one zero two. This is one is given. So then two zero zero zero. What is the remainder will come? Two ten zero twenty. So then what is the remainder? One. So that is why output will come one. And remember that. And the mode functions always output will generate in the integer data type only. Now example number one has given one point one. It is taken from the inventory table so first we will see this functions through the sql query now Select star we will not write. Select power 
थ्री कॉम टू राइट सेमी कॉलम व्हाट विल कम नाइन इफ यू राइट सेलेक्ट पावर पावर थ्री कॉम टू In the inverted comma, it will balance power semicolon. See. So what happened here? Variable will not give to the any at the because this is not attribute name. Okay, so select power three point two. This one will becomes as an attribute. Power three comma two. Then I will come. If you will leave like this, so this is that means this is a numeric. Function and this is attribute name power. So that is why power. Then what the value will come? Nine. Value will come six. This is the power function. Now we will see round up number. Select round. We will take same value. Random any random number two one three five point. Six seven eight, comma. I'm not putting any. Now we will write in the attribute name is round. Round off. Seven column. See, for the round of two one three six, because by default it will accept zero. If we write Select round two one three five point six seven eight comma zero. If we we'll put like this comma zero semicolon, then then also answer will become C because it will accept by default zero. Which one? Round of function. Round function. Now we will see mode function. So select mode. Mode will display remainder. So select mode twenty one comma three. Then what is the remainder will generate? Something listed. Select mode M O D, not M O D. So S C L E C T. Select mode twenty one comma three. What is zero? Because three seven is twenty one, fully divisible. So that's why remainder is zero. Now what is given? Example one point one. In order to increase sales, suppose the car dealer decide to offer his customer to pay the total amount in ten easy EMIs, equal monthly instalment. Means car dealer decided that to give him the Offer to customer which one? Whatever amount. Suppose amount is five fifty thousand. I'm taking. I know that fifty thousand is not a car cost. And divided by how many total amounts is ten is it? So ten if you will do it, then every month five thousand. Every month five thousand. You have to pay. So this is the EMI. Okay. So in monthly installment, equal monthly installment. This is the full book. Equal. Monthly installment you will pay in the ten months. Assume that EMIs are required to be in multiples of ten thousand. Multiples of ten thousand. For that the dealer wants to list the car IDs and price. Wants to list the car ID and price along the following data from the inventory table. So whenever dealers will Offer 
to the customer so that time he or she made the car ID and price along with the inventory tables data. Means car details data. Now optional what is given that calculate GST at 12% of price and display the result after rounding it off to one decimal place rounding it of one so rounding means we will use the function round of round only how many whatever digit uh, we will take this price and then afterwards we will write one round of to one decimal place now GST what is given 12% of price so 12% of price means 12 by 100 12 by 100 can be write 0.12 into price of price so 0 0.12 into price price and display the result display the result after rounding so this one we will multiply it then afterwards whatever output will generate and then in the till decimal one we want okay so here we will write outside round off round select round okay so first you try to understand the question, write the formula, afterwards write the function. So select round 12 by 100, this one I calculated 0 0.12. Into price, you can write like this also, comma 1. As GST, GST name has been from inventory. So like this it will display. Now add a new column, whenever in the existing table you have to add a new column final price to the table inventory which will have the value as sum of price and 12 percent of the gst new column you will add it to the existing table final price what is the table a attribute name final price and which table in the inventory table so that time in the inventory table existing table you add another column which one final price and what is the formula sum of the price and 12 percent of gst this one 12 percent of gst calculated plus sum of the price means price plus gst value this one you will add it then you will get it to the final price how you will write whenever new column you will add it so that time you have to write alter table alter that means you are modifying the table modifying the table so alter table inventory add it because you are adding a column add final price and final price is what numeric data you can write int also float also otherwise numeric and numeric then afterwards 10 digit has taken means 10 digit will accept with the what is that point one point decimal value decimal value till one digit so fully it will take here nine digit and, and this, this one is one digit. digit. So, so then, then 9 plus 1, 10 digit will generate. Only accept it. Afterwards, when you will add it, the column final price afterwards, you will update it because value you want. So update inventory set. You have set the values. Okay, you are not inserting. So update table inventory set where and the attribute name final price equal to price plus round price into 12 by 100 comma 1 this is the round of value plus price you will do it then you will get it then afterwards you write the query select a start from inventory then you will get it in the, as the all details with final price this one only insert the data okay but it will not display now calculate and display the amount is to be paid each month display the amount is to be paid each month in multiples of thousand which is to be calculated after dividing the final price of the car into 10 installment 10 installment so now tell me that you want to first calculate it and display which one amount amount you have to display okay so, so amount you have to display which one amount is to be paid each month each month means emi emi you have to display 
and we should be calculated after dividing the final price of the car into 10 units. So listen, 10 months whenever you are paying that, so you have to divide it. Just like suppose, ah, this is the final price, this one, which one? 65, 6,52,000, 52,526.6, this is the final price. EMI, how you are getting this EMI? Then after remaining amount is this. Means this one you will take as a 10 months in the 10 EMIs because question told that you take as a round of figure. This is where in the multiples of 1000 only. So multiples of 1000, how we will get it? So that's why you divided it. So mode final price comma 10,000. Whenever you will do final price comma 10,000 means final price is what? 652526.6 This one you will divide it 10,000 1,000 is given so you take one more extra why I am telling that and in the mode functions then you will get to the remaining amount so 10 1,000 ah, so 10,000 Divided by 2, whatever 10,000, 60,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like this. So now 6, 6 deducted. Then what will come? 5, 2, 5, 2. 5, uh, 2. Uh, 5, 2. 5, 2. Then this 6 will come. Now 10,000, 5, 50,000. Now, this 5, 5, 2, 5, this one 6, 2, 5, 2, 6, this is the remainder and this one also come now, so point six. So this is our remainder, so through the mode functions, how we can take as a remainder, how, uh, how we can do as a round of value, so that is why like this you can calculate it, then you will get it to the round of figure 65,000, then you will get it. Because 10,000 10, into 65, 65,000, this one will come multiples of 1,000. Okay, multiples of 1,000. So, which part is remaining? 2,526.6. So, that is why calculate and display the amount is to be paid each month in multiples of 1,000. Multiples of 1,000. So, multiples of 1,000. This one, this is a multiple of 1,000. How we will write? Car ID, final price. Round of final price minus mode of final price comma 10,000. So mode of final price comma 10,000 when do mode means what will accept it? Remainder value. So our price is 6, 5, 2, 5, 6, 5, 2, 5, 2, 6.6 and what is the remainder? 2, 5, 2, 6.6. 26.6 now subtract it what you will get 6500000.1230 then zero like this okay then afterwards what is given final price minus mode afterwards divided by 10 so this one this value you are getting divided by 10 because 10 installment so divided by 10 you will do it so then your value will come 65,000 okay 65,000 so in the 10 months then what is the remaining part after dividing the amount into EMIs after divided find out the remaining amount is to be paid immediately so after 10 months what you will pay 2526.6 this one is the remaining amount by performing modular division. So again we will write this one mode final price comma 10,000. So then you will get it as a remaining amount. This one, this query has written together. You can write single single also. First how you will write? Select car ID, final price, round final price minus mode final price comma 10,000. Then close it by divided by 10. Then round off is 0. Okay. So, so this one as EMI. So this one is the one query. Another query is this. So again you have to write select car ID, final price, then mode. Final price, comma 10,000. Remaining amount. 
from inventory put it as a semicolon this one is also from inventory will come here by afterwards so you will get it this one as output now next let us now add a new column commission so whenever you will add a new column which functions you will use it alter to the cell table the column commission should have a total length of 7 in which two decimal places total length is 7 and then what is the decimal two decimal two decimal places so then alter table cell add commission numeric 7 comma 2 because total length is 7 and this is the two decimal places like this you can edit this is the examples so here is also one problem has given one problem is in the, to calculate the commission for the cell edges as 12 percent of the cell price insert the values to the newly added column commission and then display the records of the table cell where commission is greater than 73,000 greater than 73,000 so first you have to add it then afterwards you can you can take as a condition then you will get it the output in the commission table if you will not put it the value so then how it you will get it the condition how it will check it and display so first insert the data then afterwards we can do it so already every query has written so this one you will check it now come to the string function string function what will perform it will take input as a string okay and change the cases look at here perform various operations on alphanumeric data means take it as string that's why i told that alphanumeric data means what in the quotation d001 if you are right so d is a character this one is numeric so that is why it is called alphanumeric data and it will convert to the uppercase and lowercase uppercase to lowercase lowercase to uppercase so many things you will see this string function so first u case this one we can write it in the two types u case also you can write it and upper also you can write it u case for uppercase and this one upper also and in this string so if your string is in the lower case then it will convert to the upper case and already suppose i have written computer one and this is already the capital then what happened it remains same same thing for lower string also okay if capital is there then it will convert to the lower just like this example so this one when we will write it so then it will come to the in the small letter lower case if already in this lower case that one will not already so that it will remain same suppose some letter is capital just like c is capital c o m P U T E R like this is written. And now if you will convert to the upper case, then what happened? This one C is already upper case, it will remain same. Other one will come to the capital. T E R. In this one, it will do it as a lower case. Then what happened? Only C is capital. So C will come small. Other one as it is. Okay. Now mid value mid value understand mid value has three functions returns a substring mid we require three things first string then position from which position you want to check it then end this is the length length of the string length of the substring so this is substring and otherwise sub str string short form is str Okay, so, so just like here, string select mid in four matrix. What is the starting position is given? Three. So remember that in the S square, it will start from one, not as a zero. Okay, index value starts from one. So one, two, three. This letter F. F. How many length is given? Four. So one, two, three, four. F O R N. This one will display. If you will write mid, if you will write substring, otherwise substring. Okay, just like select mid in formatic only seven. Seven. So seven is what starting position. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
then e listing why e listing is taking email at the rate this one separate has taken e listing email email e listing what will display you remember e listing e listing giving to the first starting uh, first position of the first character so here at the rate at the rate e listing at the rate value will display just like a b c at the rate so 1 2 3 4 4 e listing what will represent 4 Then minus one, four minus one. That means what? Four minus one equal to three. So from the left, email comma three means from the left three characters you will display. That is why here it is used in the string email at the rate minus one from customer. Then you will get it. Next. Four digit area code is reflected in the mobile number, starting from position number three. Starting from position number three, four digit area code is reflected. Just like for example, one eight five one, starting from third character. One two three from here. One eight five one. This is our area code of the mobile number. Now write the SQL query to display the area code of the customer living. In Rohini, customer living in Rohini. So what will write? Select meal phone number. Meal functions you know that it will take as a sub string. This is our position, and this is the total length of the total length of character. So three digit from third it will start and it will take four digit from customers where customer add like Rohini. Okay, customer add like Rohini. Rohini means what? And here is also is using modulus, and it is also modulus. Means Rohini will be present anyway. If we write only mod a, mod Rohini means from the starting point. If we write Rohini, then and then it will take as a and from the and it will check it starting anywhere you can take it, but ending Rohini. And Rohini से ही होना चाहिए ये starting Rohini और ये कहीं भी हो सकता है immediately ये yes, starting भी हो सकता है ending भी हो सकता है बीच में कहीं भी हो सकता है so that is why has it so this is the next example you will see now we will see date and time function date and time function is what used to perform operation on date and time data some of the operators Operations including displaying the current date, extracting means fetching each element of a date, just like day, month, and year. Displaying day of the week like this. So we will see and the date and times one functions. Now, now whenever we will use it, it will display both date with time. Date only display date. Month only display month. Month name month name will display year. Date of the year will display day. Date of the day will display. Then day name it will display. Day name of the date. Okay, we will see this one. If you write select now. You will see select now nineteen year then month then day then time twelve fifteen. Now next what you will write select date. Two days date we will check it. So select date now. Select, 
see only, only date has matter. matter so, so like, like this all, all the commands, commands you can check it, it. This, this example is given you, you can, can check, check it, it. Now comes aggregate, aggregate function. What, what is aggregate function? Aggregate, aggregate function are also called multiple row function. Single row function is called scalar. Single row function is called scalar. And multiple row function is called aggregate function. Then it will take multiple records at a time but output will generate only single. So, so these functions work on a set of records as whole and returns a single value for each column of the record. Single value. So single value which one is giving? Which function? Max, mean, count, like this. So now we will see the difference between single row and multiple row functions. Single row, it operates on a single row at a time just like date function, now function, okay, date date and time functions, string functions and then numeric functions, mode, round, all such single row at a time. It operates on a group of rows, means set of records we can take it. It returns one result per row, yes, whatever result, just like power, 2 comma 3, it is single record, output is also generated single, so this is single row. It returns one result for a group of rows. For group of rows means whatever set of records we are taking, it will one result means single output only. It can be used in select, where and order by clause. Here we will use it select, where, where for condition, order by, for uh, order the data in descending order, descending order. It can be used to select clouds only. Here we will use in the multiple records only to this select because we are fetching the data. Whenever these functions will use this single row and multiple row functions only for fetching the data. So that is why only select functions in the multiple rows. Yes, select and this is for conditions and order by for ascending and descending order. Now, math string and date functions are using in the single row function. Here, Max, mean, average, sum, count, and count star. We will use it in the multiple row functions. Now we will see. This one we have seen already. Max, string, and date. Max, mean, average, sum. Listen. Max, mean, average. This one. Only calculate numeric data only. Okay. Sum, count, and count star. This one will accept numeric plus string. We have seen in the pandas also. So max, find out the maximum value in each column, mean, minimum value, average, find out the average value, look at here, select max price from inventory. From table name is required and this is the attribute name. If you will not give the attribute name, then how it will take it? So that is why select max attribute name from table name. Then you will get it in the maximum value one. Now, now minimum, minimum value, value this is the average, average value. value sum sum of the each column wise sum of the price from the table now count column now it is very important count and count star count and count star count cannot accept null value cannot accept it count star accept Accept null value. Which one? Count star. Okay. So, so that, that is why ignoring the null values. Values. Ignoring the null values means cannot be accepted. So that's why select count. Look at here. This is the one table. Okay. Manager name. How many is there? One, two, three, and one is null value. But whenever you will write select count, so that it will only count it values only. So this one three cannot accept null value. Now come count star. So then result will come 4. So this is the multiple row function. Now group by function. 
group by functions when you can use it to fetch a group of rows on the basis of common values in a column yes whenever common values is there then we can making a group this can be done using a group by clause it groups the rows together that contain the same value in a specified column a specified column means if your attribute is same that times also we can do it and here in the group by we can use it aggregate function that is count max mean average and sum to work on the grouped value in the group by whenever it is there if you want the condition so that times group by afterwards having functions we will use it having function after the group by remember that before the group by having function cannot be used having by having clause and uh, one more where clause this for for conditions only for checking the conditions only we will use it but this one where clause we will use in the single row functions okay and this one whenever group is there group by group by you will use it that times we can use it having functions for conditions but group by afterwards having functions will come where also we can use it in the group by but before it okay not after so this is this is the select start from cell this is the cell table now car id cost id cell date payment mode employee id cell price are the columns that can have rows with the same value in it see car id cost id then cell date cell date then what is given payment mode employee id then cell price are the columns that have the rows with the this one till this much same values in it now so group by clause can be used same values how you understand have same values look at here d001 now d00 d001 has came no s001 no s002 is two times okay ha only s002 is two times now here if you will see it C triple zero one. So uh, yes, this one we can make a group. So that is why whenever value is common, that times you can use it group by function. So select cost ID. Here is taking only to the customer ID. Count star number of cars. So what is the attribute name is given? Number of cars from cell group by cost ID. So this is the number of cars. Now, from cell group by cost ID having count greater than one. So which one you will take? Look at here having functions after group by is came. Okay. So what happened that whenever you will use it in the group by what is that? Whenever is more than one value, that one only will display. So this one has displayed. So this is the all the examples. Now we will see operation on relation. Look at union. Union means what? Whenever has given two sets, means two tables, all common and uncommon. Here we will talk union, intersection, and set difference. Three words: union, intersection, and then set difference. This this symbol. Set difference. This is intersect. and this is union union means in the two tables all are common and uncommon everything will accept it just like here okay both both will accept it. intersection only to the common part only common part set difference one side one side only if suppose we have written a minus b A minus B, so then A part only will take it in the like this. 
this one, not this one. Okay, this common also will not accept it. Now if we write B minus A, just like dance minus music, so that dance part will take this one only. Only dance students. So this is this has given. Look at here, dance table, then music table. Okay, when you will do union, then everything will come. And now check it here in the music table also. Attribute name is same. Serial number, name, class. Now here also you will check it in the dance table. Attribute name is same. So when you can do union, intersection and set difference, whenever your attribute is in the same. But, but here we have seen in the operation which one? Group by. In the group by what we require? In the group by value no value should be same then we can make look at here group of rows on the basis of common values common values in a column so in the column we can make a group hmm. now dance union music so first dance data will come then afterwards music data will come intersection common part i already told that whenever it will do common part so in the common a common name only two names so that is why two now intersection intersection symbols is minus this uh, sorry intersection set difference the set difference symbol is minus symbol so look at here difference of two sets so this is music part hmm? dance minus music dance minus music so then what we do only to the dance name only dance part will take it mehak lavanya avai you can check it mehak lavanya avai where is dance table what is given dance minus mehak lavanya mehak lavanya Abhay given to the music and what you are doing dance minus music okay this one will remove it dance part remove it only to the music will display okay a minus b i told that so this part will remove it so which part is left only b's part so that one will display now Cartesian product. Cartesian product means multiplication. Okay. So here we will see attribute. I am writing here. Attribute. Tuple. And uh, degree. Cardinality. cardinality these things we'll see attribute means attributes column tuple row degree total number of total number of column and cardinality total number of row remember that so cartesian product here will do tuple into tuple tuple into tuple Cartesian product and attribute attribute plus attributes plus means column plus column will do and tuple into tuple we will do it let's see okay so whenever two tables has given look at here this is the dance into music so dance into music what is the value of the dance and music you check it length Hmm. In the dance, how many data is given? 4. Dance has 4 rows. And how many columns? 3. Remember, column is 3, row is 4. Here in the music, 5 rows, 3 columns. So, in the dance, 5 rows, 3 columns. And music, 
no music uh, uh, music i think five rows and three columns and dance four rows into three column okay so this is the two different different tables whenever we do cartesian product so dance into music you will do it so then row into row so four into five what the value will come 20 where in the total number of rows will come 20 and total number of columns will come here in the degree 6 column plus column it will add it 3 plus 3 6 so look at here serial number name class serial number name class so 6 columns and 20 rows will display how so here suppose here 1 2 3 data in the music is given in the dance is given 1 2 3 4 so this one will multiply with 1 also 2 also 3 also and then 4 also so one record has how many combination four combination the two has also four combination three has also four combination that is why row is more three into four 12 rows now using two relation in a query how you will write what is a product on two tables in the two tables how you will be write in the query okay so the query how will you select a star from dance comma music whenever you will do dance comma music so then it will display both the table now select star from dance d music m where d name d name equal to m name means which one only common part so common part part whenever we are talking about that means we are talking about intersection okay intersection now join on two tables how you will join two tables at uh, many times here we will see join and natural join another one is left outer jo uh, join join natural join outer join left outer join right outer join okay so here we will see join and natural join join means it will join join the two tables join the two tables but your duplicate column will take it as it is just like what I am telling that column plus column. Here is also three column. Here is also three column. And both the columns, suppose duplicate column name is given. So, this one will write differently the join. But natural join what happened? It will remove a duplicate column only to the, it will write only to the ones times. So, this is the difference between join and natural join. Look at here. This is the uniform table. So, in the, this uniform table, what is given? U code, U name, U color. Now, come cost table. U code, size and price. So, here, which one is common? U code, U code. U code, U code. This one is common. This is the common attribute. So, whenever we we'll use it, join. Okay? Cost table. Hmm. This one, what is given? Select a star from uniform U cost C where U code equal to C code. This is only for the common parts is taking. Only common part is taking. So, using conditions in where clause. So, in the, what is telling that list the U code, U name, U color, size and price of related tuples of table uniform and cost. You have to display which one U code, U name, U color, size and price. Now, the given query may be written in three different ways. So, in three different, first one, select a star from uniform U, cost C, this is the name is written. Okay, just like uh, in the pandas, we are taking the areas, uh, pandas as PD, so same uniform U. So, then every time we will not write in the full table name uniform, just like U, dot U code. This is the, in the uniform table U code we are talking about and this is the cost table U code we are talking about. Okay, because both the table has U code attribute only. Like this, whenever we'll do it. So look at star from. 
that means all the data all data all data whenever u code equal to c u code will come so look at here u code u name u color u code size price so u code u code both are same yes but it is displaying different so this is the join function so in the join function how you can write same thing select a star from uniform u what we will do join cost c on this okay so join otherwise you can like you can write like this with the where clause conditions otherwise directly you can write with the join function join function so whenever join functions you will use it so that the on will come not a where clause now if you will do same program in the natural join then what happen join and natural join, only one difference only this part will remove this part x this one is duplicate column so look at here one one two two one one two two so that's why this one will remove it in the natural join Hmm. What is given? Uh, see the output of queries A and B shown in table one point one nine. Where is one point one nine? This one has a repeated column U code having the exactly same values. I already told that this redundant common uh, column provides no additional information. Okay, only occupy the memory. So this is the extension of join operation. In the join operations, it will edit everything. So this is the extension of of join operation is called natural join, which works similar to join clause but removes the redundant attribute. This is the different. Okay, so I already explained this part. Mm. We'll see this one. Whenever you will join operators, you will use it. So in the two or more relations, so then. These functions you should follow. Then see if two tables are to be joined on equality conditions on the common attributes. So then may one may use join with on clause. Yes, whenever join functions you will use it. So then with on clause you will use. Otherwise natural join in from clause. Natural join with from clause. So like this, you can join it. Now, in general, n minus one joins are needed to combine n tables. N tables on n tables means suppose two tables. So two tables, two tables. What I am telling that row into row will generate, and then column plus column. Whenever duplicate uh, column will there, so then natural join will remove it, and normal join only the join it will take it all. With join clause, we may use any relation operators to combine tuple of two tables. If you want to combine two tuples, so that times any relational operator also you can use it. So this is the chapter, children. If you have any doubt, you will check it first. You install the MySQL software. MySQL software you install it, then afterwards you run all the programs and how to create the database, how to show the database, how to create the table, how to insert the table, alter the data already has given, how to alter the table means modify the table, um, how to add the data in the modified table. So that one I already explained it. Okay, so fully chapter number one completed today. So thank you very much.